In terms of tier 10 uh, ranked, I assume, CVs, where do I rank the Maximalmen? Um, capable? Uh, FDR is strong, assuming your team shows up. If your team doesn't show up, the FDR is not strong. It's just what it is. You can kill stuff, but if you can't take positions on the map or do anything, especially if there's a lot of DDs, it's kind of a bitch. Uh, so FDR is strong on the condition that your team does not suck. Uh, or at least that you have a front line, say. Other than that, Midway, Hakuryu, uh, solid choices. Be willing to say that the Emblem is a fairly solid choice. It does seem to be a bit conditional, but I think it's fairly solid. I mean, I've been able to approach situations and work on things while having not the best destroyer interaction per se, but I mean, I have the ability to interact with a destroyer. It's just, it's going to be on the destroyer's terms unless they're engaged in a fight and I can try to add in. Which is similar to what the Ristofen, the Ristofen can do, but this has much more threat. Because theoretically, we could land two or three bombs, maybe even four bombs, and just like straight up bitch slap a DD for 10 to 12k. Uh, assuming, again, that the DD is busy with somebody else spotted and staying broadside to us. Um, so I would probably rank the Immelman up there with the Midway Hakuryu at the moment. The Ristofen is good. But the bombs are not dependable. So if you load into a match with three or four, uh, or sorry, two or three battleships, that may be a problem. You may not have the damage to be able to scratch the battleships in a way that the enemy CV can hurt your battleships, which means that they may out health you and then just walk forward and run you guys down because they have big unkillable giant ships. And the MVR sucks against destroyers, but you were extremely good against cruisers you can Citadel. Extremely good. And then there's the Audacious, which is a capable CV, but she's dependent on having stuff that she can pen, which is not something you can guarantee. Um, she's not a bad CV at all, but if you're against, you know, some Ohios and some Thunderers, you can rip some shit up. If you're against some Salems and some uh Woosters or something I mean you can rip some shit up or like Nevsky's or something stuff you can pen you can hurt but again kind of like with the with the Germans it's ship specific if you get a ship combination or a ship type that you can't really affect well then you're just kind of stuck so I do think that the uh the Ristofen is slightly ahead of the audacious in terms of it's very accurate so it can do things um and it's the, uh, the Audacious is not weak. She's just very conditional. So tier 10 tech tree, uh, IGN and US are still the best choice. The US is going to have the best ability to affect destroyers. And when you're getting, for instance, I'm in Gold League, when you're in a situation where you've got three destroyers, they've got three destroyers, and the Super Unicum and the destroyers on their team... That super unicum probably kills two of yours. So, fuck. Then your front line gets overrun and you just die. Because the team with destroyers usually wins. Um, Midway at least gives you something to interact with that and try to salvage the front line. Uh, the Hikuryu has rockets, but they're not dependable, which is a little rough. Isn't Audacious pretty strong meta and ranked right now, since you always have at least two Thunderers on your team? And then all you do is farm fire damage. Um, Audacious can be strong if you can pen things. So I actually took Audacious in the previous uh, ranked season that had CVs in it. I, I dicked around with the Audacious for a little bit because there were lots of Montanas, Ohios, Thunderers. And I ripped about 70 to 80,000 health of, out of an Ohio in under three minutes. So like I had FDR levels of damage into an Ohio using carpet bombers that the ohio just had to like hide behind an island and just shit himself while slowly healing back up for at least five minutes um but then i'm down to rockets and torps and the rockets and torps can be kind of conditional 